These guitars are going to add a fun element to your rock band. Um, we're going to start, if you have a tissue box with some plastic on the inside, go ahead and remove that. Once you're done removing that, we're going to take our, to our paper towel tube and we're going to cut four half inch cuts on each quarter of the tube. So we'll do maybe about an inch cut, I guess. So cut about an inch, turn a quarter, cut another inch, cut another inch, and you're just turning one quarter every time. Once that's cut, you're going to fold the flaps down. This is how we're going to adhere the neck of the guitar onto the Kleenex box. Okay, we're going to put some hot glue. I'm using hot glue, but if you want to use tape, that's fine too. Packing tape probably works best. Put some glue on each of the flaps, and I am going to stick it onto the top of my tissue box. I'm going to trim off any ends that are overlapping. The next thing you need to do is make sure that your rubber bands are long enough. I'm going to stretch mine from the top of the tube to the bottom of the tissue box if I can. Okay, so we'll start here and I'm going to stretch and mine only go about halfway down the box. So I need to make sure that I shorten the neck of the guitar. And to do that, I'm going to just pinch and cut. I'm going to cut less than I think I need because I can always cut more later. All right, that is almost to the bottom of the box and since we're going to cut some slits into it I think it should work perfect. The next thing we're going to do is on the face of the guitar up on the tube I'm going to add four rubber bands to mine to make the strings. So I'm going to make four half inch slits here that the rubber bands are going to feed into and then I'm going to turn it over and make four slits again opposite of the first ones I made. So you can go ahead and turn off your video now and make those four slits. Now that you've made those, we're going to feed the rubber band through the back slit, the first back slit, and the first front one. Okay, so we fed it through there and we're going to pull the rubber band all the way to the bottom of the box and around the box. The rubber band should be laying over the opening right here. I'm going to do that with the rest of my rubber bands. So you can go ahead and stop the video and feed your rubber bands through the slits and down around the bottom of the box. As I was working, I had a major catastrophe. My rubber bands were um, far too tight for the length of the, um, the tube. So um, my tube fell off and I had to re-glue it on and I ended up taping it with some packing tape. So if it happened to you, it happens to all of us. Um, so don't worry about it, it can be repaired. What I ended up doing was I cut my slits down longer into my tube. So my tube stayed long, but the rubber bands were able to fit better. Then what I'm going to do just to fix it a little bit more and make it a little longer is this was the tube that I cut off. I'm just going to slide it over and secure it with some packing tape and I should be good to go then. It was quite a mess there for a minute. So I'm going to secure that with some packing tape. And the next thing I'm going to do, okay, let's get this on here first. Okay, now we've got a little something longer for the kids to hang on to. The next thing we need to add is just something really small and minor. I took um, a panel of a cereal box and I just cut two little rectangles and then I'm going to fold them in half lengthwise. Then what I'll do is I'll put them underneath the rubber band strings right up here. And I'm going to put them under the rubber band strings right here. You want to glue them in place, you can glue them in place too. Um, but we want them to raise the strings up a little bit. That way it'll give it a little bit better sound, sound when they play. Um, 
If you wanted to paint the neck of the guitar, you can certainly do that too. And you can paint the box if you want to, if your child has a favorite color. This one was already decorated, so I think it's pretty good to go. I hope your little rock star has a great time playing his or her new guitar. Okay, so here is my guitar that I just made being used. She just got home from school and picked it up off the counter and we got our own little rock band. Hope you have a rock star at your house.